What's this bloke on about? Into this phone here. This phone here. Um, okay, so I'm about to create a class, um, which I'm going to call IBM Rational Developer for I. That's exactly what I did. I did create a class called IBM Rational Developer for I. This was, um, I, I want to say, three or four years ago when I had much better hair than I've got right now after being butchered by the barber this last weekend. But I digress. I've also lost my big mic. You'll notice I'm in a different location. I've moved house. And my glorious round blue snowball mic thing got lost in the move somehow. So I've had to resort to putting on this dodgy old headset. But don't let that distract you from my message. My message is RDI sucks. I've uh, fallen out of love with IBM RDI. A long time user. Um, as a freelance guy, I had to pay my own license. So I coughed up a thousand bucks to get my IDE license with uh, IBM's Rational Developer, very begrudgingly. Um, and here we are three or so years later and they bought out a new version. It's just an upgrade. Uh, all it's basically doing is they're saying there's a the RDI sits on top of um, Eclipse. There's a new version of Eclipse came out that's leaner, faster. So they retooled it to work with the new version. And uh, I was running RDI 9.6, and they bought out RDI 9.8, which I downloaded, used for a while. It looks and feels exactly the same, but it just does look, it does feel slightly faster. Um, unfortunately, it says, oh, you've got the old license. 9.8 is a new license. So you've got to go and pay a second time for your IDE license. And have a look and go, how much is it? $1,360 for me, Johnny Normal IBMI programmer, an old AS400 RPG programmer used to SEU. IBM want me to pay... $1,360 every year just to use a code editor. Are you crazy, IBM? You're alienating the user base of people that want to use your machine and code with a language on a power system. I'm not going to pay $1,360 just for an IDE. Why? Why would I do that when for a quarter of that price I get my entire Microsoft Windows stack, Windows 11, Pro, Office, Word, Excel, Access, all this stuff, and their code editor, the far superior Visual Studio Code. Many people have been using that for years with their regular editing tools, and now with the add-on of VS Code for IBMI, by uh, originally by Liam Barry, I believe, and now a host of other people um, are from IBM champions to just IBM fanboys and fangirls creating this add on that now lets us code uh, RPG, CL, DDS, display files, print files in Visual Studio Code. It lets us connect to our machine natively, it lets us edit our source files in whatever libraries are in. It lets us even convert our source straight into the IFS. It connects over SSHD, so it's secure. It does code formatting. It highlights things. We can run integrated testing in Visual Studio Code, all for the very shocking cost of zero dollars. So we have a clunky Eclipse-based IBM offering for 1360 and we have a slick, modern Microsoft code base that does everything this does. Well, does 90% of it for zero dollars. One and a half grand every year versus zero dollars every year. It's a bit of a no-brainer, right? So uh, it's hasta luego, IBM RDI, and uh, hola, <laughs> Visual Studio. So let's dive in. I'm going to download it, install it, do it all on real time and uh, see how it goes. So click the link below this video and it should take you off to my website where you can follow a series of things. And it'll be a growing course as I use and learn Visual Studio Code. I'm going to record little snippets on there and hopefully we can get all of the, the community running in the same IDE because it's uh, bloody cool. That's it. See you out there.